Hey, welcome to another edition of Fee Days Podcast. My name is Jerry Serino, and I am your host. Uh, and I'm here with talent on loan from Rush. Uh, I'm here with a uh, new friend um, that I've made through this podcast, through the the process of doing my podcast. Uh, his name is Richard Carlucci, and Richard um, has started a, uh, a a new business uh, that's a that's a, a great business in 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 prayers online and things like that. And um, I wanted to have him on to talk about it because uh, I use. I use these types of things for myself and I, and I listen to his and his, his stuff is really, really great. So uh, Richard, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. So what, what's interesting about you and, and you could see um, in your background, those that are watching this, not just listening to it um, on the podcast app, if you're watching it on YouTube, you can see the background um, of, of your stuff. Um, take me through, cause you've, you've talked to me about it before offline um, through how this started and how this idea came about and, and the, the music and everything that, uh, that you use in all this. Sure. I'd love to. Uh, so pretty much back in October, um, I, one night I was pretty much tired from a full day of watching my four kids and, uh, sat by my computer and, um, clicked on my, Nightly Mother Angelica Rosary, mm -hmm. uh, really loved her, watched her growing up. And, um, you know, I started listening to it, saying my prayers, uh, closing my eyes, just kind of decompressing. And, um, you know, when it was finished, I thought to myself, you know, she's got such beautiful music uh, on the background of her rosary. Um, however, it's just, it's old and it's hard to hear sometimes. And I thought to myself, why couldn't I maybe put some music that I could find on the internet, um, and replace the background with her. And so, um, I spent a couple of days doing it and, you know, I just, it just didn't click. It just, I guess it wasn't meant to be. And so I thought to myself, well, why couldn't I record my own? So that was pretty much the, the start of the journey to Catholic audio prayers. So, so you were, you were, um, the first interest was in <clears throat> getting some sort of newer, fresher music in the background to the prayers, right? That, and that caused you to kind of say, okay, I need to find that music, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And so go on. It's because, um, so then ultimately you found, you found some music that was, that, that really hit you, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, I spent a little time going on YouTube and going through some of the music and there's just obviously so much, as you know, mm -hmm. and I came upon a group of nuns who, it just sounds like angels singing and, uh, first time I heard it by the end of the song, I was in tears. Mm. And I knew that's the song, that's the music that I wanted to record to. And so at the time it was just for personal use. I was just making it for myself. Mm. Nobody knew about it. And so I recorded my first um, rosary and I put the music to it. And I thought to myself, um, it'd be wonderful if I can put this out there to get other people to have a different way of praying in case they're busy and they don't have time, you know, they can do like I do stick it in my, um, my MP3 stick in your car, listen to it on your way to work or, mm -hmm. um, and so I thought to myself, well, mother Angelica, she's done private rosaries all the time, but she's, she's giving me the opportunity to listen to her music and her prayers. Uh, maybe God's calling me to do the same. And so um, I took a chance because I went from wanting to use it for personal use to putting it out there. And so I wanted to get permission from them, which was most important. So these, the, these nuns, um, you, you needed ultimately permission to use their music, right? That's correct. Yeah. 
And so I uh, reached out to um, the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, um, I called them up, uh, left the message. And I didn't hear back from them from a month, for about a month. And so, you know, I said, maybe it was just meant to be for personal use. And then one day in the middle of changing a diaper, I, um, I got a phone call and it was Sister Superior. Mm. And to make a long story short, after our conversation, she gave me her blessing to use their music and not just any song, all of their albums, because she thought it was the most amazing idea she ever heard. Mm. And so that sort of sealed the deal and kind of gave me that extra boost to, to go for it and not just do one rosary or one prayer, but to tackle as many as I can, 150 different chaplets and rosaries mm -hmm. and, you know, miscellaneous prayers. Um, and yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah. And so <clears throat> that that's really great. So and then you, you took all obviously that music and then you put your voice to the different prayers. Correct. That's correct. It's your voice on there, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. So, so tell us about, um, tell me about, you know, where everyone can, could find it. Uh, again, if you're watching, you could see, um, on the bottom here, Catholic audio prayers dot space. That's correct. correct. Uh, about a month ago, um, I started putting the albums on YouTube and Facebook and started a, a store. Unfortunately, Facebook decided to close me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I said to myself, maybe it's best to get a website where I'm not silenced, so to speak, and people can go and visit. Um, so that's what I did. I invested in a website. Um, every album that I make, I put a sample for everybody to listen to. And if they like it and they want to experience the full um, album, mm -hmm. you know, they can make a donation at um, catholicaudioprayers.space. Um, donations go a long way. They help continue um, my hard work and, um, you know, help support the family. Mm -hmm. And um, it helps get the name out. And uh, obviously the end goal is to reach out to 3.2 billion Catholics out there. Yeah, that's fantastic. So um, I actually have on here, I can share my screen. <clears throat> I was going to was going to play um, one. Let's see here. I'm going to make sure I do the sound right. Uh, I was going to play one. Let's see. So if you go to the website, you can pull up the different um, the different prayers. Are you, you're seeing my screen, Richard? I am seeing your screen. Yes. Okay. So this is what it. So this is um, Richard's main. Um, if you go to the website, this is it here. Uh, and you can see the different, you know, different prayers that he has right now. And obviously he's working on others. Um, I, I do a rosary with uh, using audio as well, just because I, I use yours. I, I like just someone else saying it because I do it by myself, you know, usually early in the morning. But um, I think this is this is really cool. So let's maybe play a little sample uh, so people can hear it. And then, um, you know, hopefully they go to the website. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I believe in God, the Father of the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Yeah, so, the, I mean, just the music, like you said, um, it's, it's really cool to hear it. It is really quite beautiful. Um, music to, to have in the background as you're saying the rosary so that's really cool um so will you maybe go through with me real quick the 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 different prayers that you have in here i'll kind of scroll through um if you want here so, so if uh obviously the front page i like to keep you know most um, uh, most popular album that my users like which is obviously uh my first one which is the holy souls rosary 
-hmm. And obviously, um, uh, I wanted to get a, a St. Patrick's chaplet out there since St. Patrick's Day just had passed. Um, and I also offered um, a free album for, for the two days. So anybody who visited my website got a free album. And um, my next release will be always on the bottom. And that will be obviously the five mysteries of St. Joseph. There are countless versions of St. Joseph's rosary. And I plan to do all, all of them. Um, and that's just the front page of the website. If you scroll up, okay. um, you can basically see um, if you click on the queue, the queue docket, these are albums that are in the queue that I'm going to be either um, either I'm working on now or I'm going to work on. And it kind of gives um, users a sneak peek on uh, what's going to be next in line. Obviously, I don't just kind of throw my album, but I like to put the history of the mm -hmm. actual chaplet or the rosary um, so they can kind of read about what it is they're praying. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's a great idea to share information and not just um, the music. And so that's the Q docket. And um, these are all upcoming albums that I'm eventually going to get to. Okay. Um, right now, obviously, we're sort of new. So it's just mm -hmm. me right now. But hopefully, um, you know, if God wills it and, you know, I can get some um, users to, you know, make some donations and grab some of these wonderful um, albums. Yep. Again, big shout out to um, uh, the nuns, the monastery, because without them, you know, it's just my voice. They're absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, you can also visit um, under news and information. You can also visit their website and check out their albums as well. Um, I think it is it under yeah background music that we use at the bottom it links them <clears throat> so you can go right to their site and give them a shout out um they're actually a world famous monastery i'm surprised that they got back to me which is why i believe that this is probably meant to be uh, actually no I, I think it is meant to be um and i just feel so blessed um that they let me use their music and um, they're going to be recording again, new albums soon. Um, so that's just, I, I don't even have the words to kind of describe them. Uh, I, I asked my users that um, listen to my albums to go support them and listen to their tracks. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, no, this is, this is really great. And um, it's a great website too, uh, as well. Um, so I would I would encourage everyone to go to go to CatholicAudioPrayers.space. Um, I'll have it posted uh, in the uh, the body of of the uh, of the podcast when I post it. I'll ha also have it on YouTube and Rumble, um, where uh, you could you know also see you know listen to this, but also you know share it with other people if you want to share the the podcast episode on YouTube or uh, certainly in the uh, the normal podcast uh, app. Um, and then it'll have all this information in here for you to go to it. And, you know, I'd suggest sharing it uh, with others, with friends uh, that, that are looking for uh, sort of a new way to pray if, if, if they don't use music already. Um, this is a great place to go and uh, share it at your church as well, right? I mean, I think, you know, that's really big. Uh, there's yeah. no reason that uh, churches can't have a, you know, a rosary weekly and then play this uh, during that, that time. It's uh you know, it's, it's music, they get the music and they don't have to have anyone come and play. Right. Yeah. I find the, the background music is not overwhelming and overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a nice, it's like adding salt to your meal. Mm -hmm. It just makes it better. Yeah. Uh, and, um, and we, we, we do have the audio store, um, on the website up and running and uh, users can go into the audio store and I separate it by rosary albums and chapel albums. And there's a bunch to choose from more to come and you can make um, users can make their donations there if they like it um, nice and organized. You'll have the history of each prayer and um, you click on it and you'll have a little sample. And um, I look forward to, um, you know, 
meeting some of my users and getting their feedback and just um, just going full blown. Just I'm, I'm taking this all the way. Yeah, that's is great. Yeah. So you can go here, you can see donations. So he's um, just asking you know, for whatever you can donate uh, for the use of it, because it obviously takes some work and effort and um, some some money as well uh, to do to put all this together and everything like that. And uh, obviously, it's a noble cause. And again, you're gonna you're going to benefit from it every day. Any chance you want to use it, it's, it's there. That's the great thing about, about one these last things. thing I'd like to yep. share is yep. um, new users that visit the website. I encourage them to check out our newsletter and you can um, sign up and you'll receive um, information on upcoming albums, album releases. Um, they'll literally get the queue docket right in their email and they'll see new ones that are coming and they can make suggestions and um, they can leave comments and yeah. Great, yeah, definitely go here. Then you can uh, be notified, you know, without uh, just through your email, which we're all, we're all checking the email every, every, every few minutes of the day. This yeah. is the place, this is the way to get it. So, um, so really great. This is really great stuff. I'm glad we, we got to meet virtually and then Thank glad you. you were able to uh, come on uh, my show. Um, I really appreciate it. Richard Carlucci with uh, Catholic Audio Prayers dot space. Uh, please check it out um, and please use it more importantly. And, um, you know, everyone benefits really from it. So, uh, Richard, thanks for coming on. I, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. It was my pleasure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the pleasure was all mine. And uh, thank you all for for joining me tonight uh, with uh with Richard Carlucci and um, his Catholic Audio Prayers dot space. Check it out. Look into the prayers, uh, the music, make a donation, and uh, pass along and share to others. So uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>